vermin would dare mock a hybrid commander. I'd mock anybody who uses the word mock. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most powerful Ben 10 aliens. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most powerful aliens to ever appear in the iconic Ben 10 franchise. We'll be considering the abilities and feats of each alien and their respective races, and we'll also be including both Omnitrix and individual aliens as well. However, we will be excluding non-alien magical beings. Did your favorite strongest alien make the list? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Galvanic Mechamorphs Created by accident during one of Azmuth's experiments, the Galvanic Mechamorphs are a techno-organic species with a natural proficiency for technology. My experiment had inadvertently prompted the creation of a brand new techno-organic species, the Galvanic Mechamorphs. Along with being able to morph into different shapes, forms, and fire optic lasers, Galvanic Mechamorphs are mostly known for their ability to bond with and enhance all forms of technology. As with traditional mechamorphs like Ben's alien form upgrade, some mechamorphs are known to possess unique abilities. These include the mechamorph symbiote Chip, who can transform into technology he previously bonded with, as well as Malware, who absorbs technology to increase his own power instead of enhancing it. Too slow, old man. It's mine now. What a shame your weapon couldn't properly disrupt my mutated genetic code. Number 19. Ectoneurites. This species' ghostly appearance is more than just for show. Much like an actual ghost, ectoneurites can fly, turn invisible, become intangible, and can also possess a variety of alien life forms. Gwen, look out! <laughs> while ectoneurites are vulnerable to sunlight without their second skin, they become stronger while under the cover of absolute darkness. In the case of powerful ectoneurites like Zerzkare, they can fire energy beams, perform telekinesis, as well as turn other people or aliens into ghostly minions. Every one of my people he possessed became a ghost freak minion, slave to his hive mind. What's even more terrifying is that even if an ectoneurite is somehow destroyed, all it takes is a single surviving strand of that alien's DNA for them to be brought back to life. Number 18. Pyronites No alien unleashes the power of the sun better than a pyronite. Stay back! <laughs> Originally from the planet-like star Pyros, pyronites evolved into the most skilled pyrokinetics in the universe. Packing enough firepower to melt tanks, pyronites can also absorb fire, transport themselves and others via fiery tornadoes and also have the ability to channel their fire through the ground to ride a piece of molten rock through the air. I'm fresh out of tanks, your hiney, but I am bringing the heat. Even infant pyronites are a force to be reckoned with, as their tantrums can be supernova-like in power. Fun fact, the pyronite heat blast is also famous for being Ben's first alien transformation. <laughs> Number 17. Apoplexians. Possessing immense physical strength, Apoplexians have retractable claws, are quite fast and agile for their size. Ben? They can evolve into an ultimate form and are durable enough to survive even the most lethal blows. Ben, are you all right? Living by the belief that any problem can be solved with their fists, they may not be the wisest alien in the galaxy, but when it comes to fighting and wrestling, they are cut above other species. That being said, for Apoplexians like Wrath, sometimes an extreme show of force is enough to prevent all-out war between two alien races. I just jumped down your throat! You start a war with the Lodans, and I will do it again! Only next time! I will knit your intestines into a sweater! Number 16. Tetramans Having survived on a planet where everything is out to either eat or tear them to shreds, it's no wonder Tetramans evolved into such powerful fighters. You are going down, Peanut! 
Boasting immense physical strength and durability, Tetramans can jump long distances, create shockwaves by clapping their hands together, and their tough skin makes them resistant to fire and lasers. All Tetramans grow stronger with age. However, it is a known fact that the female Tetramans are much stronger than their male counterparts. In any case, whether a Tetraman is male or female, the idea of facing one in combat is something even the most experienced warriors would rather avoid. Number 15. Petro Sapien with the likes of Diamond Head and Tetrax among their ranks, the Petro Sapiens race are some of the toughest and most resilient aliens in the cosmos. Cool. Made of extremely durable crystal, Petro Sapiens are super strong and can manipulate their bodies to form various weapons or fire crystal projectiles from their hands. You're in trouble, Vilgax. I've had a lot of practice with this one. They can also generate large masses of crystals from the earth to either form large shields, create ramps, as well as trap enemies by completely encasing them in crystal prisons. While mainly weak against sonic vibrations, Petro Sapiens are immune to acid, time rays, and can reflect virtually all forms of energy in laser blasts. What comes around, goes around. Let's see how you like it, you techno freak! With such a powerful skill set, it's no wonder Diamond Head became one of Ben's best aliens. Number 14. Necrophrygians If you thought ghosts were terrifying, this Mothman-like alien will literally chill you to the bone. After debuting in Alien Force, the Necrophrygian Big Chill became one of Ben's most used aliens, and it's easy to see why. Along with the ability to phase through solid matter, Necrophrygians can also choose to freeze anything or anyone they phase through. They are also super strong, can shoot through metal, fly long distances, as well as breathe strong winds or ice beams powerful enough to tip over an RV and freeze their prey solid. Necrophrygians can also evolve into an ultimate form, which not only sports an insanely cool design, but can unleash fire so cold it burns. Now it's just you, me, and fire so cold it burns. Number 13. The Hybrid These aliens once considered themselves so superior to other races that they claimed they were the first forms of intelligent life in the universe. I do not repeat myself to lower life forms. What are you doing on my ship? Did you just call me a lower life form? I'm pretty sure he did. Members of the high breed possess the ability to fly, can shoot claw darts from their arms, and are strong enough to subdue even the most physically adept aliens. Filthy creature! Who's them? Why would I do that? While their natural abilities alone are enough to consider them dangerous, their formerly xenophobic nature, as well as their use of xenocytes to turn any sapient species into their DNA alien minions, made the hybrid an even more terrifying race that threatened all sentient life in the universe. Destroy the other two. Leave Ben 10 to me. <laughs> Number 12. Sonorosians Thanks to their agility and excellent teamwork skills, Sonorosians can outmaneuver their enemies before overwhelming them with their sonic screams, which can be used to block or redirect enemy attacks. With the power of the Ultimatrix, Echo Echo can evolve into his ultimate form, which not only has the power to fly, but can also produce sonic screams, as well as ultrasonic waves via self-replicating discs. When used in unison, the sonic waves are powerful enough to contain nuclear explosions or instantly incapacitate powerful enemies.
Number 11. Vaxasaurians. If you thought tetramans were dangerous, you definitely don't want to get on the bad side of humongosaurs' native species. <laughs> Along with possessing super strength and incredibly thick skin, Vaxasaurians have the power to increase their body size up to a whopping 60 feet. With the power of the Ultimatrix, Vaxasaurians can transform into their ultimate form. Meet Ultimate Humongosaur! Uh, I've beaten tougher guys than you. Really? When? In exchange for their size-altering ability, Ultimate Vaxasaurians gain a massive increase in raw strength, develop an armored shell around their already thick hides, and can also morph their arms into biocannons which shoot highly explosive missiles. To put it simply, the power and potential of a Vaxasaurian is as awesome as it is terrifying. That's right, Tennyson, an Ultimate Vaxasaurian. I can change into Ultimate Aliens, but you can't. <laughs> Number 10. Nemuinas Underneath pesky dust's seemingly innocent appearance lies a power so fearsome that it terrified the likes of Kyber. Aw oh, man! Lame alien! No, not a Nemuina. Stay back! I mean, you're in trouble now! Instead of raw power, a Nemuina's true strength lies in the special dust they produce, which can put virtually any being to sleep. After being knocked out, Nemuinas can then enter their target's dreams, allowing them to extract information or even manipulate said dreams, forcing their victims to experience terrifying nightmares. In your dreams. Good idea. But let's do this in your dreams. But I, but no. Too much exposure to their sleeping dust will render a target permanently comatose. No matter who you are, none can escape the terrifying dream world where the Nemuinas reign supreme. Number 9. Galileans Along with being one of the wisest aliens in the universe, Galileans are also known for their power over gravity. When active, Galileans can use this power to levitate and throw their targets, make them heavier, create barriers, redirect attacks, as well as bring the fastest beings to a standstill. Their base forms alone possess ridiculous power, but thanks to the Ultimatrix, their powers evolve to an even greater level. Galileans must also take great care in using their abilities, as they can easily create a black hole. Dear me, this won't do at all. Sorry, Ben. I didn't know that would happen this time. However, with enough time and patience, experienced Galileans can use gravity to produce quasars. Number 8. Conductoids There's a reason why the conductoid feedback became Ben's favorite alien. Now I remember why I like this guy! Feedback rules! Hailing from Teslavor Nebula, conductoids are naturally gifted in the art of electrokinesis. Along with firing electrical beams and waves of electrical energy, Conductoids also use their powers to absorb all manner of energy. Whether it's from an attack or even energy taken directly from living things, conductoids can use said energy either to attack or even use it to fly. What's even more impressive is that conductoids on the same level as feedback show no limit to how much energy they can absorb even if it's from a doomsday weapon that can destroy the entire universe. Number 7. Tokustars Although Tokustars are gentle giants by nature, they have enough power to destroy a small planet. Born from the depths of cosmic storms, Tokustars, like way big, are strong enough to throw beings as big as themselves into a planet's orbit. They can also survive in the vacuum of space, move super fast, as well as unleash powerful cosmic rays by crossing their arms. By evolving into their ultimate form, a Takustar's natural abilities increase exponentially and they also gain the ability to fly. While 
While regular Taku stars may be pacifists, mutated ones are a different story, possessing all of the raw power of their peaceful counterparts, but with a vicious personality. One could argue that Waybads are way bigger threats. Number 6. Anodites as one of the few alien species that cannot be contained within the Omnitrix, anodites are free-spirited beings whose true bodies are made of pure energy. Mature anodites are pure energy. While very few people of anodite heritage can inherit the anodite spark, those who do unlock limitless potential. These aliens possess the unique ability to absorb and manipulate mana, the life energy of the universe. With this power, they can use magic, fire energy beams, fly through space, and create energy constructs. With enough training, anodites can even manipulate reality to a degree. Well, it's been a wild little shindig, but Mama's got to go. Mature ones such as Ben's grandmother Verdona are so strong that even the all-powerful Omnitrix is considered beneath them. Number 5. Vilgax with titles like Intergalactic Warlord, Conqueror of Ten Worlds, and the strongest Chimera Sui Generis under his belt, Vilgax has more than earned his status as one of Ben's most dangerous enemies. By the time he first encountered Ben, Vilgax modified his body to the point where he was strong enough to shatter mountains with his bare hands. Although Ben has managed to grow stronger over the years, Vilgax has also augmented his own abilities and even acquired new ones such as Cyclone Breath, Laser Eyes, as well as the power to transform into a giant sea monster. The Esoterica worshipped me because I looked like Dagon. Now I am the Dagon. At one point, he even acquired the power of an extra-dimensional demon. Did we mention that he also managed to wipe out several versions of Ben? The detonation won't even touch this Ben Tennyson or his timeline. It's designed to wipe other timelines from existence. Which one? All of them. Number 4. Mavridol Nothing's more terrifying than the fury of a mother scorned, especially when that mother happens to be Mav Riedel. <laughs> Mav Riedel. Yeah, hi. Can't really chat. Gonna shoot y'all now. Steal the valuables. Make a clean getaway. Like that. Wanted in 12 star systems and banned in 27 others, Mav Riedel is a ruthless gangster who will destroy anything or anyone that dares to threaten her children, except for the Vriedel brothers. Real nice. Keeping your poor, starving baby brothers awaiting. <laughs> now make yourselves useful for a change and keep an eye on my pretty boys while I fetch the grub. Along with being incredibly strong, Mauve Riedel is virtually fearless, has eyes in the back of her head to prevent sneak attacks, and has access to an arsenal of lethal weaponry, including doomsday weapons powerful enough to destroy suns. Not only has she never lost a direct fight against Ben, Mauve Riedel has even traumatized Vilgax to the point where the mere sight of her is enough to make him flee in terror. Mrs. Riedel, <clears throat> nice seeing you. <clears throat> so anyway, Ben, I, I have to go. Number 3. Chrono Sapiens Chrono Sapiens may not be the fastest alien in the universe, but that's hardly a problem for beings that can manipulate time. Clockwork's not good for dodging, unless... Through chronokinesis, Chrono Sapiens can slow down time to appear super fast, fire time rays that turn people and objects to dust, or de-age them, and of course, travel through time. Thanks to their biomechanical bodies, they can also merge with galvanic mechamorphs or use technology to upgrade their physical and time warping abilities. At last, the infinite time stream is mine to control. Chrono sapiens like Maltruant are especially dangerous, as they are capable of using their powers for lethal means and can even create technology so deadly they can wipe out entire timelines or specific people across the multiverse. Thankfully, they also have the power to reverse this.
Number two, Atomics. Even Ultimatrix aliens are no match for Atomics. I am, uh, uh Atomics. Yes, Atomics. This heroic alien with a voice worthy of traditional superheroes is famous for being the second strongest alien in Ben's arsenal of heroes. As his name implies, Atomics has the power to produce and manipulate atomic and nuclear energy. He also has the ability to fly and is so strong that he can knock down a powerhouse like Ultimate Humongousaur and send objects flying through a planet's atmosphere with a single blow. When Atomics gets serious, evildoers are pretty much done for, because once he unleashes his signature move, it gives a whole new meaning to the term going nuclear. Amena, Amena, Amena. Nuclear winner! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Celestial Sapiens Was there ever any doubt that these aliens would take the top spot? Alien X! Seconded! Water-stopping motion carry! <laughs> Born within the forge of creation, celestial sapiens such as Alien X are recognized as the most powerful beings in the universe, and by extension, the entire Ben 10 franchise. Being omnipotent, celestial sapiens can do virtually anything, so long as their inner personalities can come to an agreement. We're not finished deliberating. No, I need to help now. Come on! Alien X doesn't do anything until it's put to a vote. While they do spend most of their time debating, any time a Celestial Sapien decides to take action, they end up warping the very fabric of reality. With a single thought, they can destroy the entire universe or create a new one in its place. Because Alien X is so powerful, Ben has vowed never to use him unless the universe is on the brink of destruction. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.